If we have the expression 64 divided by 8 over 10 times 10 to the power of 2, then what is the simplest possible answer for this expression? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression may seem very, very simple, but almost everyone gets to read. Let's dive in and break it down a step by step together. And the first step of solving this question, most people go straight to the exponent, which is 10 squared, and simplify the whole expression to 64 divided by 8 over 10 times 100. And the next step, they usually focus on the expression 8 over 10 multiplied by 100, because they believe multiplication has priority over division. Alright, as you can see in the image, they very easily cancel out 100 with the 10 in the denominator and write this expression as 64 divided by 80, which ultimately gives them the answer 0 0.8. And without any hesitation, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question is option A. But I have to say we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let me show you how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we must follow the both mass rule. And this rule, B stands for bracket, O stands for order, D stands for division, M stands for multiplication, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We should proceed these operations exactly as it's written from top to bottom step by step. Alright, as you can see on the screen, and this expression, first we have a division sign, then a multiplication sign, and finally exponent. According to the both mass rule, we should start with the exponent, because in this expression, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, instead of the original expression, we can write 64 divided by 8 over 10 times 100. And the next step, we handle the division and multiplication. However, it's very important to note that in the both mass rule, multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, the best thing to do is to start from the left side of the expression and move toward the right, performing these two operations in order. So, first we perform the division between 64 and 8 over 10. Okay, whenever we see a division sign between two terms, it's best to use the KCF rule. And this rule, K stands for keep the first number as it is. C stands for change the division sign to multiplication. And F stands for flip the second fraction. So, we remove the highlighted part and replace it with 64 multiplied by 10 over 8. Alright, as you can see in the image, the number 64 simplifies with the 8 in the denominator and this expression simplifies to 80 multiplied by 100, which finally gives us the answer 8000. That's great. Option D is the correct answer to this question.